for tuning in. My name is Jamie Zweer, and I'm the head health coach, founder, and CEO of Oh How Healthy, where we work with busy working women to show them how to create healthier lifestyles, all while balancing your home and your work and your social life, so you don't feel like you're sacrificing one of those things in order to live healthfully. It doesn't have to be as hard or time-consuming or expensive as you think to to have healthier lifestyle habits, and that is what I love to show ladies how to do. Um, so I wanted to tune in with you guys a little bit today and talk to you about um, keeping your immune system high this cold and flu season because I know the cold and flus are all, all among us, everyone and their mothers I feel like are sick right now and I just wanted to share with you a few quick tips to keep your immune system high and help you feeling great this, um, this season and if you didn't get sick I want to prevent you from getting sick. And if you already did get sick this season, hopefully we will boost that immune system and prevent you from getting any more illnesses, okay? So number one, the number one thing that you want to do to um, keep your immune system high is eat healthfully, right? I mean, duh, right? But you don't even need to take a multivitamin if you are eating a well-balanced um, well diet with a lot of variety, a lot of color. Um, a lot of foods from the earth, a lot of plants, and lots of clean um, meat and, and dairy if you choose to eat dairy. So that means avoiding the processed packaged food and opting for produce, fruits and veggies, um, grains, nuts, seeds, beans, and um, some clean meats, uh, preferably grass-fed beef and organic chicken or um organic other uh, pork or whatever other meat that you eat and um, clean seafood, preferably wild caught seafood. And um, and so yeah, so just eat well, eat a variety. You don't eat too much of one thing. You want to have lots of color in your in your system. So um, look look at colors when you eat. I mean, if you're eating a kiwi and a banana, um, you know, you have your greens and your yellows. Now, how can you get some red or purple or deep blues um, and orange into your diet as well? So keep that in mind, and that will really keep you feeling great and energized and getting all the vitamins and nutrients that you need. Um, the next thing that I recommend you to do is stay hydrated, right? A lot of us forget to stay hydrated. I know this is much easier said than done, but... The goal is to aim for half of your body weight in ounces of water a day. So if you weigh 200 pounds, your goal is to drink about 100 ounces of water per day. Um, if you find it challenging to drink water, if you don't like water, try to throw some um, flavored, like some fruits or veggies in it. You can add some cucumbers, some lemons, some watermelon, some, um, what else can you add to it? Some orange slices, cucumber. So get creative with your water. Um, you can add, drink sparkling water if you really are not a water drinker. And also um, carry a water bottle around that has a straw on it. I know this sounds silly, but that one small little switch can really encourage you to sip more throughout the day. Um, in addition to eating well and, um, and, and getting a lot of hydration in, there are certain supplements and specific foods or things that I that I um, recommend you using in your um, in your diet. Things like apple cider vinegar. If you've never used apple cider vinegar, it is a great tool to incorporate into your um, routine. It is great to have in the morning or before you eat. It can help um, make you not so hungry. It also is great for your gut health. It has a lot of good probiotics in it and it is a vinegar so it is is high in vitamin C and will keep you feeling great it's also great if you want to lose weight it's a great thing to incorporate you don't want to take it straight you don't want to just like drink a straight shot of vinegar um, you want to dilute it with water and then drink it with a straw so it can travel past your teeth and not take any of the enamel off your teeth or damage your teeth at all um, but there are many many uses for apple cider vinegar and you want to get the kind that has the mother in it um, and it's mainly by Bragg's B-R-A-G-G-S they have a great brand um, you can check online and there are hundreds if not thousands of, of things that apple cider vinegar is used to treat so check that out 
And then also, so you want to make sure that you're getting a good amount of vitamin C and zinc. And if you feel like you need to take a supplement of vitamin C and zinc if you're not eating enough of those um, vitamin C rich foods or leafy greens, then try to take um, a supplement. And I will leave a link in the comments below about different um, brands that I recommend you try. Clean brands that are dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and um, very safe. Um, and also, you want to try to incorporate a lot of garlic into your diet, and preferably raw garlic if you can stomach it. Just take a, take a small clove of garlic and chop it up and then just swallow it. Put it right past your tongue. Don't even chew it or put it on your tongue. Just um, take it like you would take a pill, garlic. And you can also just take a garlic pill, but I always believe that fresh is best. And that alone will really help boost your immune system. And, um, and yes, so in addition to those things, I encourage you tremendously to get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sleep. Sleep is when your body is healing, it's when it's repairing itself, and if you are under a lot of stress or you know you do a lot throughout the day, you really want to give your body time to relax and repair so that you don't break down and you aren't susceptible to getting sick during this season. So the goal is to aim for seven to eight hours if you're an adult and um, more if you're a child, but you want to get about seven to eight hours of sleep per night. So if you have a hard time uh, falling asleep at night, try a nighttime routine that might work for you. Try reading a book, try taking a bath, try relaxing with a massage or, um, you know, some light yoga and stretching or essential oils would might be helpful. And essential oils are great. Uh, lavender is great for creating a restful night's sleep and helps you sleep throughout the night. And I can also leave a link in the comments below about brands of essential oils that I like to use that are super clean and I highly recommend. So essential oils are great and that also leads me to my next point and thing that you can use in order to keep your immune system high and you feeling great this, this cold and flu season is essential oils. And now, essential oils are my go-to when I'm not feeling well. I'm the kind of person that really doesn't want to go to the doctor if I'm sick. I know he's just going to try to provide, um, you know, give me a, um, a prescription, and I just don't want it. I, I know that it's helpful in the moment, but over time, you know, it can damage a lining. Uh, it, it can damage your gut, and um, it just doesn't feel right to me. I know my body is giving me signals for a reason. And I just like to treat it with food and su natural supplements and essential oils. And essential oils are so powerful, especially if you're using a good brand. Um, so these are a go-to when I'm not feeling well. I use essential oils like oregano or peppermint and lemon. And um, what I do with them, if you have a high quality essential oil, you can use it not only topically on your skin, but also internally, so you can so you can um, use it internally, and what that means is you can make a tea with it. You can boil some hot water and put a few drops in in there, um, and you can only use an essential oil internally if it has a nutrition label on the back of it. I always have my essential oils around. Let me see if okay. So this is tangerine. Tangerine is great, and they all have different uses. Um, I have a guide, um, like an essential oil dictionary, essentially, and it tells you what it's good for. So in the back, I, I would look and say, oh, I have a sore throat, or I have a cold, or a scratchy throat, and it would tell me what essential oils to use. So only if it has a, a label on the back there should you use it for um, internally. And again, you can check with any doctor. See, this one does not have one. So you would not want to use that one internally. And this is the brand that I use, Deterra. I'm not a salesperson for it. I just personally really love them. Um, but again, check with your doctor. Check with your physician to make sure make sure that they're safe for you. Um, so, yeah, and I, like, when you're feeling really sucked up and you kind of don't know what to do about that, I never really resort to over-the-counter medicines anymore and it's funny I, I, I didn't really think about that until recently when I 
I, well, more recently when I was thinking about, oh, how quickly I get better after being sick and how often I, or how rarely I go to the pharmacy or the doctors in general, I really love my essential oils and I really love treating my body well so that I don't need to, um, you know, resort to that. But anyway, when you're feeling all stuffed up and phlegmy, you can boil a cup of hot water and you can put the essential oils in, a few of the recommended essential oils, and you can put a rag over your head and breathe in the steam. It's called a steam cup, and then it helps just alleviate some of the, the um, pressure that you have there and encourages you to feel better. So, yes, I love my essential oils, to say the least. And if you have any questions about what... Um, what essential oils may would I recommend or what other ways I use them, please leave a comment below and I can let you know. Um, so let's see, we talked about eating well, staying hydrated, um, the, having the correct supplements if you feel like you are not getting them in your diet, um, apple cider vinegar is a tool of mine, essential oils are great, and then, <clears throat> and then also I, I want to say keep Keep yourself active, keep yourself moving, keep your energy high, stay healthy and fit and, um, you know, just, just work out whether it's at home or at the gym, whatever you need to do, do yoga, anything counts, just, just get that blood flowing, sweat, let some of those toxins out and, you know, these are just, these are just tools in my toolbox that I use to really keep myself feeling great throughout the, throughout the whole year, not only just uh, cold and flu season. So that is all I have for you today. I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to answer them. So and I hope that you're enjoying this YouTube page so far. If you have any requests for future videos, please let me know. I mean, I'm coming up with them as I am using them in my day to day life. And you know, ones that I feel like would apply to you ladies, you busy ladies, because I know you got a lot going on. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.